Volume Mixer is a recently released jailbreak tweak that resides in Notification Center. And what it allows you to do is to independently control the different audio categories on your device. So there's ringtones, audio video, Bluetooth headset, Bluetooth headphones, and phone call. You can control those individually without actually being in an active session with one of those. So that is the whole point of this, to be able to independently control those at any time. Um, there are skins that you can apply here. You can also change the default skin settings if you choose to do so. And to enable this tweak, you actually have to go into the notification center settings here. It's not under today view, but it's actually under, yeah, your full list here. You see where it says, do not include, I need to move that up. I'm gonna move it up to the top. And once you invoke Notification Center, the volume mixer is actually going to be on the second tab, the All tab, because it's not on your Today View. I wish it was under Today, today View. That would make more sense. But anyway, uh, so it's under your All tab. And there you could see right here that you can independently control these different audio categories without actually have to, having to be in an active session of, those, of one of those categories. For instance, I don't actually have to have my Bluetooth headset enabled and using it for me to adjust the volume of the Bluetooth headset. So that's really nice. If you're really um, concerned about controlling volume to a very granular degree, then this is a tweak for you. And as you see there, there are various skins that you can choose. I like that one. I think that's pretty classy looking. Um, you could choose metal skin, cream round, and uh, there's the metal skin, cream rectangle. That's my favorite. Yeah, that's the one you should be using right there. Um, there's also the ability to display the volume percentage or turn that off. So I just turned the volume percentage off and now the volume percentage is not showing. Another thing about, about this that's cool is you can control more than one toggle, more than one slider with a multi-touch gesture. So I can move two of those things at one time with two fingers. Now, what if you want to further customize the look? Well, you can do so if you choose the default skin, you can actually change more settings here. So if I choose default iOS, I can go in here and change the skin settings right here at the bottom of the preferences for volume mixer. So I'm gonna just really change things up here, make it look real crazy. Um, blue, and let's see, maybe we should add an orange. And we'll add one more color here. Just try to make it look as crazy as possible. So purple. So there you go. So it looks pretty ridiculous. Um, I still think that the, uh, the cream rectangle skin is the best skin. So I'm just going to stick with that. But folks, that is how you do it. And again, you can also rearrange or disable certain sections. And these happen right there on the fly. You don't actually have to um, respring or anything like that. And of course, you can drag them around to rearrange them like that and the changes take effect immediately there's no resprings needed no resprings necessary so if you want to try out volume mixer it's a good tweak especially if you're really concerned about the various audio categories on your device you want to control them independently of one another this is the tweak for you you can find it on cds big boss repo right now for only 99 cents you can get really granular control over your over the audio on your device and for that reason, I recommend it. Let me know what you guys think about Volume Mixer down below in the comment section. Would this be something you would use? Let me know. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.